your bank draft, Joseph. Yeah, I can still think of six good reasons why I shouldn't go. I can think of one good reason why you should. Yeah, what's that? I asked you to. There go my six good reasons. <laughs> now you know what to do. Yes, sir. Ride to Platte City, cash the draft in the bank, and bring the money to Mrs. Bolden. Now, I wrote and told her that you were coming, so she's expecting you. But Tom Bolden's a real good friend of mine. Doctor, you know. Oh, by the way, if the widow needs any anything done around the house, you know, help her out. Yes, sir. That, uh, that bank draft represents Tom's share of an investment that we made together. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. That's funny. Adam told me those investments were a complete loss. Now, never you mind. She needs that money, Joseph. All right, Pa. I'll be your errand boy. That'll be back in about three days. Yeah, that should do it. Now, you take good care of yourself. Yes, sir. Joe Cartwright. I believe a wire was sent ahead of me about a bank draft I wanted to cash. Oh, yes, sir, Mr. Cartwright. Came in yesterday. Uh, are you familiar with the Bolden place? Lee Bolden? Yeah, that's right. Sure am. She's delivered milk and eggs in town the past three years. You a friend of hers? Yeah, sort of. Is her place far from here? No, about uh, 20 miles. You just stay on the main road north till you see her sign. I got nine thumbs and a big toe for fingers today. <laughs> Town's losing a bachelor tomorrow, and I'm gaining me a wife. Oh, well, congratulations. You mind telling me what you're doing? Well, not at all, son. I'm going to rob your bank. Gavin, get in here. Now, don't fiddle around. Just get in and get out. What's the matter? You scared, little man? Well, I was born scared, you know. It's part of me. Come on, Gavin. Come on. Poochie, you stay with the horses. Just take your pills. Never mind the hard stuff. And do it fast. We can't leave this behind, can we? Stay loose. Here. Must be close to 10,000 here. There is. I'll tell you. All right. What do you say? Now, let's go. Turn around. I said, turn around, right, hold it. I could break a man's skull real easy that way. You know any reason why he shouldn't? Sure you got the money, that's what you want? What we want is to get away with it. Well, come on, give the kid a break. He's going to get married tomorrow. We'll give you five minutes. I don't like it. Well, I do. All right, kid. Now you've got yourself a deal. Outside, Gavin. I still don't like it. Outside. Now remember, five minutes. Count slow. Stay away from that door! Three of them out there! I 
should have killed you both. They don't hang a man for bank robbery, but they do for murder. Trout, we're leaving. The whole town's coming. It wasn't even his money. As, uh, as a starter, I'd like you to point that in another direction. I'll decide where it points, as soon as I find out what you're doing here. Now, my name's Joe Cartwright. Ben Cartwright, son? Yes, sir. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Gee, you didn't give me much of a chance to say anything, man. Look, I'm alone out here. Too many saddle tramps pass this way. It pays to be careful. I'm sorry. I got your father's letter a few days ago. Well, then you know why I'm here. Yeah, and the money sure will help. I'm sure it would have. Would have? Yeah, I was in the bank this morning when it was robbed. They took the bank's money. They took the money I was carrying also. Oh, no. Did they get away? Yeah, the posse's out looking for them now. Oh, I could have used that money. Hey, well, look, when I get back to the ranch, I'll talk to Pa. I'm sure he'll do something about it. No. When things go wrong, they manage to go all the way. Yesterday, my hired hand was taken to the doctor. Is there anything serious? Well, he was a pulled muscle, but when you're 64, anything is serious. Yeah. Hey, well, look, maybe I, could, maybe I could do a few chores for you and earn my dinner. It's a long ride back to town on an empty stomach. You're welcome to stay for dinner. Well, thank you. Look, I'll just uh, put my horse in the barn and wash up. I think we'll be more comfortable in here, Mr. Cartwright. Here, let me help you with that. You set a fine table, Mrs. Bowman. Well, I don't get much chance to show off my cooking. And Gil, my hired hand, would eat old harness if I fried it long enough. Has <laughs> he been with you a long time? He's been with me three years, ever since Tom died. Well, and he's the only help you have here, huh? He's all I can afford. And the money I earn selling milk in town, well, that barely is sufficient to keep body and soul together. That well, seems like a pretty tough chore for a woman. Oh, why don't you move into town? Because I... Because this is my home, Mr. Cartwright. It's just that simple. I can understand that. Hmm. Manual of surgery. Are you interested in medicine? I'm afraid only when I'm sick. And my pa told me your husband was a doctor. Yes. Tom was a fine doctor. When a typhoid epidemic broke out in town, he worked day and night. On the third day, it got him, and he just didn't have any strength left to fight it. I thought to get rid of that. And this. I don't know. Somehow it brings me a measure of comfort. Although I guess it's wrong to seek comfort from the past. No, I, I don't think it's wrong. I think it would be a mistake to make it a way of life. Well, better be on my way. I don't like to ride in the rain. It's 20 miles back to town. The storm will break before you get there. Well, I'm afraid you're right. My hired hand has a place set up in the barn. You're welcome to spend the night 
out there. Well, that's very kind of you. Thank you very much. I think I will. Look, is, uh, is there anything I can do for you before I go? Not a thing. Oh, then I'll say good night and goodbye. I'll probably be gone before you're up in the morning. your hands off me. Look, you turned around so fast, I didn't... I, I know. I know you didn't. It's just that I... I get so sick and so tired of men who come here and think that because I'm a widow they can behave like animals. And that I should be grateful for any favors they might give me. Ma'am, you know why I came here. Please. I'm sorry. I was very wrong. Just that I... I get so accustomed to the other kind of men, I... I forget they're decent people left in the world. Well, there's lots of them. Just have to take time to look for them, that's all. Good night, ma'am. Toss that over here, son. We keep running into each other. Yeah, I like it less each time. You all alone here? That's right. Just you and the woman, huh? Oh, I thought I might need a place to hole up in, so I checked this one out a couple of days ago. What are you, her hired hand? No. No? Well, uh, what are you sleeping out here for? Look, I'm cold and I'm hungry and she's got food and a fire in that house. I need them both, so let's go. Where's your two friends? This ain't a very good time to answer questions. Now, come on. Come on, boy. Hold it. What are you going to do about the woman? Listen, boy. Last thing in the world I need right now is a woman. Let's go. You 
got any more guns in the house? No. You're lying. I could still cause you trouble before you got me. You're not important enough for me to lie to. Son, you tell her who I am. Maybe it'll make me more important. One of the men that robbed the bank. I figure the posse's about two steps behind me. A step and a half, but they're big ones. Storm will give me edge. You still got the bullet in you. Oh, yeah. And it don't let me forget it. How long ago did that happen? Too long. A couple hours rest. I'll be all right. A few hours and you'll be dead. Well, now you seem pretty certain of that. I am. My husband was a doctor. I worked with him many times as his nurse. That bullet will cause blood poisoning before morning if it doesn't come out. Uh, you know, the way my insides feel, I... I kind of believe you. But I got no choice. Oh, yeah, you got one. What's that? Ride into town, give yourself up, and get a doctor. No, no. Prison life never did agree with me. Besides, I'd get about one mile fall flat on my face, so... You think you can get that bullet out? Perhaps. But why should I? Well, for one reason, he's gonna die if you don't. For another, he could have killed the clerk in the bank and he didn't do it. You mean Grant? Yeah. The pain. You'll never be able to stand it. You let me worry about that. All right. Clear the table. Hold it. Wait a minute. All right. Do like she says. Clear the table. In the house. There's a bottle in the cupboard. Give it to him. He's going to need something. I've never been cut before. I don't like people touching me. easy until this whiskey begins to work. And no tricks. Because I'll kill you both. This time for sure. drunk now. It's not just the liquor. It's a shock and fever. It's delirious. No choice. Here That's a... Trouble with We can get started now. Okay, what can I do to help? Hold him still so I can probe for the bullet. Help me get him up. Right. Leave him in the chair. He's better off not to be moved. Can't I think we better keep him talking. Okay, if you don't mind the language. No, I don't mind the language. A man can say a lot of things when he's delirious. It's not important. Just... Oh. 
I never. Let's see. I've never known your kind before. The kind who takes things by force. What makes you do it? Because it makes things easier? Now, what is it you want, lady? My whole life history? Huh? Is that what you want? Back to the time when my folks died in a fire? Hmm? Back to the county farm when they sent a kid that nobody claimed? Is that what you want? Lots of children grew up orphans. Is there a woman in your life someplace? There was. Yeah, there was for a while. Went sour, though. I don't know, maybe it was... Uh, it was my fault. She was... Um, just like you. Awful. Pretty. Uh, name of... Uh, name of so Joe, you got to keep him still. Look, I'm doing the best I can. Sue. Come on. Sue. 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 talking to him. I'll probe for the bullet. Oh, right. He'll listen to you. Like you used to do. Huh? Kiss me goodnight. Like you used to. Quit kissing me. Keep him quiet. Good job on this. Look, if you can manage, I'd like to ride into town and get some help. Well, that would be useless. A storm like this, the river becomes impassable. Look. That's not so good. Well, why? He's no trouble now. It's not him I'm worried about. Those two friends of his just might decide to meet here. Wouldn't that have happened already? Uh, that's too hard to say. Yeah, I'm gonna go outside and have a look around. You take this. Look, I know he's no trouble. It's just in case. All right. $10,000 down the drain. Well, it almost worked. Was it worth it? Who knows? Might have been. How do you feel? Oh, the, uh, the wound uh, doesn't hurt much, but my head. <laughs> no wonder. 
<laughs> Do you know you drank a half a bottle of whiskey? I did. Did I talk much? I know your whole life story, including Sue. Don't you remember what you said? I remember the last part. What about you? What would you like to know? The name for a starter. Lee? Lee Bolden. That's a nice name. Lee. You said your husband was a doctor, didn't you? He's been dead for some time now. You have somebody else? No, Mr. Drug. Like yourself, I'm quite alone. I think I better get some food in you. Still damp. That's all right. I think it hasn't been washed in about a week. Is that you, Joe? Joe, is that you? You saw him coming out of the barn. You never knew what hit him. You could have killed him. So what? I've seen this guy before. He's got the bank. That clerk? What's he doing here? He's a friend of mine. What took you so long? A storm. Where's the money? Talk to you about that later. I want mine now. You do. That posse's gonna pick up our trail as soon as the storm lets up. I want to be long gone by then. He's right. Let's divide it up now and get going. All right. I'm sorry, boys, but I couldn't make it ten feet. You don't have to. Just tell me where it is. I'll get it. I got shot in the shoulder, not the head. Now, what do you mean by that? I mean, we get the sack and we divide up the money, and what happens then? We get out of here, if that's what happens. <laughs> and then I sit here and wait for the sheriff, right? We could get nasty. You know better than that. I put that thing away. He's got us on the hook. You gotta go along with him. All right. You get to the storm lets up, but that's all you get. Pooch, come on, help me up these stairs. I'm gonna get some rest. Open the door. Hey, we're hungry. Get us some food. Wait a minute. What'd you do with the gun you took off the boy? He didn't have one. That's all right, I can do it. But watch them close. Hey, Gavin, what you gonna do with your share? 
I'm gonna get as far away from you as possible, Pooch. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get me a case of whiskey, an arm full of women, and destroy it myself. <laughs> and then if I have any of the 3,500 left, I'm gonna spend it foolish like. What would you do with $3,500? I'd buy some disinfectant and scrub every place you put your hands. Oh, no. How do you know what my hands are like? Lots of girls thought they were real gentle. Take your hands off me. Of course I will. But first, I want to show you that they're not as bad as you make them out to be. What rough, huh? I can keep this up all night, hardhead. Make it easy on yourself. Stay down. The only way to keep him down is with a bullet through his head. That can be arranged, too. No, don't! Put it away, Gavin. He's begging for it. Leave him alone. Why should I? What's it to you? Well, let's just say I owe him a favor. Yeah, well, I don't. I'm gonna take him. No, you're not. Oh, no? It's just as easy to pull a trigger twice as once. No, you won't do that, because then you'd never find the money. That money's important to you, Gavin, more important even than killing. Now, it's $10,000. You came close. Awful close. I'll stand watch you outside. Or I might be tempted to change my mind. We're even now. He's on the stove. How's your head? Oh, should it be? Uh huh. Where's Gavin? Still outside. Well, get him in here quick. Hey, Gavin! Come on here. Pooch. Yeah. Uh, in the barn, in the back right-hand corner, under the straw, is the money. Get it, then see to our gear. And don't bother to count it. I don't want to count it. I want to spend it. Where's he going? He'll be back. What do you want me for? I want you to watch them. I need some coffee. You ain't gonna give us any trouble, are you, little man? Oh, uh, Mrs. Bolden. I'm afraid this uh, needs a woman's touch. Man of your talent, seems to me you could pour a cup of coffee. I suppose. Thank you. Truth is, I, I wanted to talk to you. I wanted to say goodbye and thank you for all you've done. You're welcome. Goodbye. Wait.
I? What do you want? I was thinking about some of the things you said. About you being alone. Tell me, it doesn't bother you, does it? You're being alone. Yes, Mr. Truck. It bothers me. I think you know just how very much it bothers me. But it hasn't made me a hunted animal that can only run and hide until it's finally caught and destroyed. Why couldn't I have met you before? Lee. Where's my gun? The $10,000 you said was in the barn? Yeah. It ain't. Did you look in the corner where I told you? I looked in all four of them. There's no money, truck. No money. Try again. Maybe this time you can come up with the right answer, huh? All right, son. Now, where is it? Speak up, little man. Wait, wait I'm... Now, look, I don't want to turn him loose on you, but I will if you push me to it. I'm waiting. No, it's no use, Trock. But why? Now, I can understand you risking your life for that, that clerk at the bank, but for pieces of paper... Oh, that's right. That's right, that's all they are, just pieces of paper. You know, to some people, they represent a lot more. They represent work and sweat in the fields. They represent the savings of a lifetime, and I'm not about to turn it over to pigs like this. Now, does that answer your question? Yeah. Yeah, it, it answers it. Don't answer mine, or I don't like you, Tom. Hold on there. Hold on. This will take all day, and we ain't got that much time. You got something better? You remember last night? <laughs> eh? That'll make him talk. Because he's such a real little gentleman. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, it's up to you, little man. And I don't think you'd like what I could do to your lady friend. <laughs> Touch her again? I'll break your spine. Now you listen, and you listen good. We're fed up to hear with this, huh, Fuji? So I'll tell you how we're gonna play it. I'm gonna count to five. If I don't get the right answer, then I'm gonna write out. But I'm gonna leave three dead bodies behind. One. Two. Three. Four. I'll show you where the money is. All right. Pooch, you stay here with them. You. Let's go. Watch them close, Pooch. And remember, 10,000 spins better when it's split only two ways. Like I said, Trock, you're too soft. One of these days, you're going to get killed. Maybe even today. Let's move. One chance, hero. So guess right. Where is it? It's up there. Get it. And move slow and easy when you do. Catch. 
Smart move, but it only gives you a couple extra seconds to live. coming out of the barn. It's Joe. You want to do anything about it? No. Like what? Like your gun. I can get it for you. No. I better go. Yeah. Now, you were right about a lot of things. I just wish that there was time to... Goodbye, Mr. Fold. You need some help with that? The money, yes, but not him. Leave it alone. All you need is your horse. Now you take it and you get out of here. Uh, no, you're <clears throat> wrong. Uh, well, I need you. In fact, we need each other, don't we? Come on. You come with me. Uh, we could start a whole new life with what's in that sack. We would be building on a rotten foundation. We'd never make it. This is my home, and here I stay. Now you get out of here, and don't you ever, ever come back. Do you know why, Joe? I think I know why. I'd been letting the memories of the past become a way of life. It was all I had to cling to, till now. A few short hours, but he filled them with more meaning than I had known in three years. Well, he was a lucky man, if only for a few hours. Be the sheriff. 
Let me talk. I'll handle it. I'm not going to let you take the blame. Now, you have no choice. Please, Joe. I said I'll handle it. I didn't know where to go. Or what to do when I got there. Like he says, they never hang anybody for robbing a bank. You think this place could use a reformed gunman uh, about five years? I think he'd find a job that could last him all his life. You do? May I kiss you? me usually doesn't get a second chance. You're one of the lucky ones. I know it, son. I know it. 